How to find a statute using Classic LexisNexis. Here's the LexisNexis homepage after I've gone through the sign-in screen. Lexis currently offers two platforms, Lexis Advanced, which is their newest one, and Lexis.com, which is the classic interface. We're going to use Lexis.com today, so I'm going to click through that link. I know I'm looking for a state legal U.S. material. Some states are specifically listed here, but Colorado is not one of them, so I'm going to click on View More. Now all of the states are listed, and I can click directly through to the Colorado materials. I want to find a statute, so under this section, there's a link to the Colorado Revised Statutes. I'll click on that. I'm then presented with a search box where I can enter keywords to find the statute I'm interested in. Let's say I want to find a statute covering first-degree murder. I can type in murder, first-degree. I can then either hit enter on my keyboard or click the search box. The first few results don't seem very promising as they focus on correctional facilities and programs. But the fourth result, CRS 18-3-102, concentrates on the criminal code, offenses against the person, homicide and related offenses, and specifically murder in the first degree. This looks like the statute I was looking for. I can then click through the link directly to the text of the statute itself. So that's how you can search for a particular statute using keywords. If I already knew the number of the statute I was interested in, there's a really wee easy way to access it on Lexis. I go back by clicking the large Lexus icon. And then over here, there's a quick tools search box. I can enter the statute citation that I know, 18-3-102. I can then click this first link for get a doc. This brings up the statute I wanted to find, murder in the first degree. The text of the statute itself is presented first. After that are the annotations. The annotations are to cases and other materials that deal with the specific statute I've brought up. Anything that is hyperlinked can be clicked through such that you can access the underlying document. For instance, if I was inter interested in the case of People vs. Sneed, I can click on that link and I'll be taken directly to the Sneed case. You can see that this case was decided on October 9th of 1973. A case summary is provided, and then the LexisNexis headnotes. The headnotes show the, co the key legal points of a case and are drawn directly from the language of the court's opinions. After the headnotes is the opinion itself. You can see that this opinion was authored by Pringle, who is the Chief Justice of the court. I hope this has been helpful. When working on any assignment, please feel free to ask the librarians for help. You can also email us at lawref at colorado.edu or call us at the reference desk at 303-492-3522.